welcome back to the channel guys looking at this fourth gen ram engine light is on we've scanned it pulled some codes it's a code po301 which is a cylinder one misfire the misfire issue on these rams with the five seven hemis it's a fairly common issue it could indicate a major problem these things had an issue with the cam and the lifters Basically, the roller on the lifter gets stuck, and it's just grind, grinding away at the cam lobe. Uh, in that case, obviously, you will have to change the cam and lifters. Uh, I've seen them with a broken valve spring. Issue could also be in the PCM, where the secondary ignition system, the drivers are corrupt or what have you. Uh, Four sevens actually even had an issue with that valve seat kind of separating from the head and causing a misfire issue. So in that case, you replace the head. Anyhow, on this 5.7, um, my issue started after the motor wash. So I'm hoping it's just going to be in the secondary ignition system. Hopefully something's wet. So let's take a look at it. Looking at under the hood, this being the driver's side here on this side. If you're looking at the motor this way, your odd cylinders are on this side, evens are on this side. Um, again, I have a misfire on cylinder one, so this will be the first cylinder on the driver's side in the front here. Now, in your case, if you have a different misfire on a different cylinder, um, you will have to look at that cylinder accordingly. Uh, anyhow, with my code, the cylinder number one is here. You can see that coil here, right here. That's the first coil on the valve cover on this side. It could be numbers of different things causing that cylinder to misfire. It could be electronically where your, elect or, uh, where your ignition coil is bad, spark plug could be bad, the connection to the coil could be bad, or you could have a fuel issue, or another possibility is a mechanical issue causing that cylinder to misfire. Anyhow, in my case, being this cylinder one, it started misfiring right after I had this, uh, this engine pressure washed. Coil here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts holding it. There's one on this corner, I've loosened it up already. And then we're, there's one on the top corner. So we'll go ahead and remove those bolts and completely remove that coil from that cylinder. There is an electrical plug going to it, that'll also have to be removed. That's easily done by squeezing the tab on one side and pulling it up to release it from the coil and once you have these 10 millimeter bolts out you can remove the complete coil from the plugs this coil is actually designed to fire two spark plugs so if i look at my coil here i can see water on the spark plug boots and that's most likely what my issue is. It's just moisture in there that had gotten through and into the spark plug hole. And that's what's causing my misfire. So my spark's actually grounding out onto the cylinder head instead of going to the spark plug. So I will remove these boots and dry this out completely, clean it up. And while I'm at it, I will be removing those spark plugs. There might be some... Uh, some water in there also. So you want to take an air nozzle before you remove the spark plug. You want to shoot. And you shoot that into both spark plug holes. Dry out that water in there before we remove the spark plug. Here's the coil. I've take, I pulled the boots out right off of them and there was moisture inside of them. And that's what was causing my issues. And here's the spring that's actually inside of these boots. That's what makes the connection from the coil to the spark plugs. You want to make sure there's no corrosion on the ends of them or inside the coil here itself. Again, mine was kind of obvious. You could see the moisture all around the coil and the boots and the inside of the boots. So it was basically a short circuiting there causing no spark to the spark plug thus causing a misfire. Now in your case if you don't find anything obvious uh, you want to look for cr cracks on these boots that's fairly common with age these dry up and they'll actually have cracks in them and uh, your spark can leak through that right to the head and that'll cause a misfire you could have a bad coil bad spark plug if it's cracked 
Um, so that could cause your issue. Uh, putting everything back together, you want to be sure to use some dielectric grease on all the connections here, even at the bottom here before I put these boots on, and on all electric ends. It helps to keep them moisture free and everything functioning as it should. So let's get this coil put back in. If you don't find anything obvious, you can swap the coil with another cylinder. And and then once the engine light comes on, if that that issue moves to that cylinder, you know it has something to do with that coil. Um, and I would just replace that coil. They're cheap enough. I would replace the spark plug at the same time. And hopefully that'll take care of all your misfire issues. And if that still does not, um, then you can look into it further as far as a fuel injection issue. You might have a bad fuel injector. The seals can go bad on the valve cover itself and it can leak oil into the spark plug hole and that'll cause your misfire. Um, so if you find oil, once you remove the spark plug, it's your valve cover seals allowing oil to go into the spark plug causing your misfire. So let's go ahead and button this up and we'll erase the codes and take it for a drive. I was able to erase the codes, eliminate the engine light, and take this vehicle for a test drive. Runs perfect, no more engine misfire, no more engine lights. So in my case, the moisture is what was causing the misfire code and the misfire issue, and looks like that has been solved. We are in good shape. Hopefully that helps somebody out. I thank you for watching.